All right, back again, second time today. Upload speeds it, right before stream, and I've been testing this, has been sitting at 30. So the upload should be solid and not fucking around this time. Can't wait to see what finds out. In fact, let's open it again now. Internet speed test. Let's see. Okay, download is about the same. Oh, look, upload is dropping to like five or six. All right, it's building up, it's picking up. All right, cool. Oh, good, it went from 30 to 11. Hopefully that's because I'm streaming and we're not gonna be losing anything. Damn, well, I wonder where those 20 megabits went literally five seconds ago. Hmm, damn. Hope they stay the same. Hope that doesn't actually interfere with what I'm about to do. Damn, would be a shame if that happened. Isn't that right? Optimum. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is the Castlevania. We're doing more Portrait of Ruin. Gonna give this a shot again. Uh, Dave is not gonna be streaming today. So, I'm just gonna attempt to do this. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna go back to my, uh... Castlevania character I made in Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, which has been pretty fun so far. Although it does get pretty hard because the I'm only using whips and then I'm using the holy disc that comes back to you. So that's the cross. And then I'm having I'm throwing knives, which eventually once I hit the DLC I'll have a permanent throwing knife besides just the utility ones. And then also in the DLC will be a throwing axe. So those will be like the last two sub-weapons, because I already have holy water. It's literally an item that you throw in a pot. So, <laughs> so far the run's going, yeah, okay. But it's really hard when you can't flinch things really that well with your, the whip or not. Some things do flinch pretty well. Like regular humanoid enemies do. Anyway, that ain't that. That is this. Speaking of this. Picking up where we left off earlier. Hopefully. If it go if this goes bad really quickly, and it just starts dropping frames, I'm just turning it off. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't fuck around with me again. But last time we were here, we went to the first area, beat the first boss. So beat this dude in here. Uh, now we still have more of the portrait to explore, get some new stuff. Like this. So now you can summon your partner, and you can... Oh wait, hold up. Tell them to stay. And you can jump off their shoulder. There you Not an accessory, okay. Uh, defense and more defense. So, okay. Considering she's the lowest on the defense, we'll slap her through those. Oh, Clover TR is, okay. Uh, eight int, yeah, take that. Just was falling into my lap. I 
don't think there's a secret room here. Yeah. Weapon, sweet. I didn't expect that to drop. But that is a nice little boost. Oh, right before the axe, anyway. Which, oh yeah, the axe. So, basically, the difference between the great sword and the axes are the axes have the same exact swing, but they just swing a bit slower. But, of course, they have more damage. Honestly, I'm not actually sure which one's the stronger one between the Axe and the Falchion. I mean, it's a three damage drop, but it is a pretty faster. I do love Axes. So. No, beggar. Enhanced ability to dash backwards, so yeah, they, they just increase how far back you dash. Which could be useful. Allow me to jump in peace, friend. Long sword. So if you like the, the that other attack pattern, but once you get like a, a the claymore or the axe, and you have the giant overhand swinging one, like it's it's really hard to find a better. Uh, to find something else that you'd rather use because the giant overhead arc is just really good. Ribbon knocks down her int but gives defense. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Keeping her have the int is basically means her spells do more damage. And then while we're pushing, we can double push now. Now we got a lot of our co op abilities. So that just gives um, her spell to give more, more constitution, which is more, well, more HP. I was trying to hoping to get the, the daggers to get the kill. Because I think when you upgrade the daggers, you get four of them to throw instead of three. Hey, Gale Force, otherwise known as... Sure. 
otherwise known as Gailed Horse. <laughs> What's your favorite magic spell? Gailed Horse! <laughs> Alright, so that's the warp room we can get out, but we're gonna go across. Just to get that one up there, we'll just walk out the old fashioned way. I get it here or if it's a special uh, special one but there is a sub weapon for Jonathan that is a dart and the dart special ability is is when it hits uh, when it hits an enemy in the center it does a bonus damage And I like that one. Because it goes from doing almost no damage to... This is a good, decent amount of damage. Alright, we got another uh, dual attack. Holy Lightning. Which, uh... The rush attack really isn't that strong. Holy Lightning is okay in some areas. Like once you know where it works and what it hits, it can be pretty good. There's that extra warp. So that's pretty much everything here. We're just gonna head out. But once it hits the center of an opponent, it does a lot of damage. And the center of an enemy isn't that hard to hit, honestly. Oh yeah, she can also do the lizard tail as well. All right. What will it be today? Supersonic punch. Go to the butcher in town and punch some meat to get ground meat. All right, that's what it was for. Yeah, I remember there was something about it. You just had to punch it. So if I unequip a weapon, I'll be able to punch the meat. Pretty close, so. punch the meat. Now, unfortunately, punching the meat only gives you hearts. So, you can't spam cheese it for a, uh, like a bunch of money. It would be really cool, though, but... If you could just kind of go in there, break all the meat, get a bunch of cash, leave...
And I believe this is gonna give us a weapon that you might remember of it. So now we have the bullet punch, which is what I was using mostly when I was doing the other, uh... So now if I wanted to go back to punching, I can. <laughs> Let's see what he has. He still has that Sunday cake. Map number two. Okay. Blank book. A book so frightening the words ran away, leaving it blank. Take that just to have it. Then we got different knives. We even have like brass knives. Combat fatigue is pretty expensive, but not really that great right now. I mean, it'd be great just slapping them on Charlotte. As you can see, they're just booster defense. Oh, yeah, they're just a corpse. Just a corpse. Sunglasses, silk hat. Silk hat's pretty nice. And then you can also buy sub weapons. Let's see. Uh, there's the shuriken, the Yaga shuriken, Kunai. Oh, here's the dart. You can just buy it. And then there's rock riot. Yeah, some of these are pretty good to have. So we'll dump our money and get these spells for her. Omni Quip Dark. Now, some of these you can get from other enemies as well. <laughs> yeah, the book's like, oh my god. This is such evil magic. Alright, words. We need to come alive and leave. Who knows what we may summon. for us to jump off each other's shoulders for now. Hey! We got it. We got it right away. Usually that thing takes a while to find. Because also, in most Castlevania games, the luck stat doesn't actually work. Uh, after attacking with the whip, you can let it drop. Yep. So the funny part is when you use the um, the looks that just doesn't work. So everything's drop rate is set, it can't be changed, unless you specifically have an item that says it does. It's a spear, in case you want to get like keep the distance from the opponent. But we're gonna go with the punch right now, which is a really bad idea. But we're gonna go with the punch. Actually, where is the the save is right? You know what? Let's just use the save that's below. <laughs> no reason. Use the gay old horse. I forgot about that. Okay, so this thing just isn't doing anything. Uh, spell. It's not doing anything yet. I still die to it. That's fine. Uh, let's see. So we'll keep the rush on. Uh, I could probably go back to the, the regular good weapon. <laughs> 
And then for Charlotte, Gale Force is okay. How does Summon Skeleton even work in this one? You know what? I kind of want to find out. Let's see. Let's play around. Charlotte. Oh god. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Ow. Oh yeah, Gale Force sucks. Never mind. Let's go summon skeletons. Get them skeletons! <laughs> Bone Patrol! I, I, I had no idea skeletons were that good. <laughs> At least on the behemoth. Alright, it's probably not going to be good on much else, but also, blank book is same power as the Tome of Arms. But it's just you attack with the book, so it loses all that range. Put, put Gailed Horse back on. We'll take the door to another round. The bird chamber. Oh yeah, offensive form. I think this is like the kind of like the demon where it buffs up your attack. There you go, see? Right in the middle of the right in the middle of the bat. Bullseye. That's I guess is Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. No. You're not going to constantly hit me in midair and knock me out of that. I know you're... Look at that. Yeah. Hey, remember these? Oh, sweet. Free item. weapons. Yeah. 
Out of here, Invisible Man. Ah, dead horse. Oh, got down. Miss one, you missed the rest. Yeah, he's he guards against sub weapons. I remember that. What do I actually need for the dart? Dart requires 200 kills. Okay. I know you're bullshit. <laughs> the, oh, you're jumping in midair. Here's a bat to knock you around. That, that's a classic bullshit. Which they do purposely on here multiple times. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Ow, I forgot about that. Okay, definitely. Ah! Okay. No, face oh, the right way. Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh God. I think I'm gonna just, just die. Should have went back. Then uh, all right, we're gonna use an item. Give me a potion. I'm not killing this thing in one hit. See their asshole bat. Uh, 
wonder how tough the mermen were. I don't think they were. Oh, I got that. The boiled starfish. I remember that item is there all the time. Try out some of these again. All right, that's it. No, 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 Lizard tail sliding into that could have worked. I think I already had that from a, a, a the armor earlier. Pretty sure that one drops the boomerang skill. Huh? I thought you would appear, though I know it poses upon my master. He's swirling with black magic. I've read about him. Dracula's eternal servant. Death. Dracula isn't the castle's master anymore. Why are you here? My! What an odd thing to say! This castle belongs to Lord Dracula. To him and no one else. I get it. You join forces with the Brawner because you're thinking of resurrecting Dracula, aren't you? Brawner? Who are you talking about? There's no point in playing dumb. We already know who the current master of this castle is. A vampire by the name of Brawner. Vampire Brawner? It was my power. I didn't sense that. This needs to be dealt with before the return of my master. What? You really didn't know? Well, it doesn't matter. You're connected to Dracula, so I'll fight you here and now. With that useless whip of yours, at least your dead father was strong enough to yield it. Don't compare me to my father. Calm down, Jonathan. You can't beat him without a strategy. Oh, and to think he needs a little child to admonish him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. Whenever someone mentions my father, I just lose it. That's all right. It's not like you started hating your father just now. But what's the point with getting angry at someone who isn't even here? Because he's not here. Listen, my father only taught me the basics of fighting. Then he went and got himself killed, leaving me to air the whip. Whip he didn't even teach me how to yield. So selfish. He must have had his reasons. And don't forget that you've been fighting without the whip's power so far, thanks to his teaching. Maybe so. But now Dracula may be reviving, and I can't even use the power that I'm meant to use. You know, my father could. That's true, but... Enough of all this talk about my father. And enough talk! Talking won't change a thing. Come on, let's go. When death makes an appearance, Dracula can't be far away. Yeah, you're right. But enough talk. Back to here. Uh, we low enough on health I need to save. <laughs> Did 
still getting things ready, so you have to <laughs> so you're going to have to wait a little while. open up a shortcut going this way. Oh yeah. Persephone. Yeah, the vacuums are back. No! Get off of her. She's literally man of the man. Oh, okay. The pudding bucket that these things drop is an insane amount of health you get by eating it. That's like a, you save any pudding buckets you get to like the end game. <laughs> what are you eating? Don't mind me, just stuffing my face with a bucket of pudding. Oh shit. Both the uh, drops right away. Yeah, whole bunch of defense and some mod. More man. That's the transition room or something we can't move in. And that's not enough for us to get in there either. Just a double dead end. Sorry, have you had not had enough of me yelling my attack names yet? <laughs> well, little did you know, this is anime now. No! Ah! Not her skirt. How dare you? Charlotte's not that kind of girl. Unless you hold up. If you hold up for a while, then she is that kind of girl. No sucking. Don't mind us, just incredibly long hallways full of names. Hey, Don Quixote. Yep, a little bit more damage, and it does elemental damage as well. And it summons Don Quixote on this horse. Gonna go find some windmills and burn them down. was this boss? Oh yeah, the pot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just died of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Was there a better way of doing that? I know when it explodes out of its mouth. Was there a way? What was the way of dodging that when it does the the big explosive vomit? It just kind of goes straight down. I just remember pushing it over to the side helps. No, the boss is our favorite. The boss is a... I'm pretty sure there's also a... Isn't there a... Um, Yoshi's Island boss that's in a pot? Or am I just thinking of the big slime boss? I swear there was one in a pot in Yoshi's Island as well, but I could just be absolutely insane. I forget which one of these also works really well, too. Be better at turning the face that one. Oh, he kept popping it on me. Rock right, I think was doing a lot of damage though, at least. Unless the point of moving it over here was when it shoots. Let's see. Oh shit, I forgot to put on Rock Riot. I remember what my old strategy used to be, but I didn't remember why I did the old strategy. The strategy of pushing it over to here was so that his little minions that he summons take a long time to get over to you. Jonathan. And we got the double jump. And now, if I remember correctly, the Partisan just kind of explodes in power. Or never mind. It's the same damage as Falchion. It's just a spear.
Oh yeah, well see, I jump once and I jump twice. See, it's a double jump. <laughs> if you don't know that, then maybe... <laughs> the double jump was always possible. Ah, this thing. Okay. This thing has a really good soul. The ricochet. Whoa. Thanks. I kind of want this thing to drop its ability. It's not super amazing, but it's, you know, fun. I see you. I see you. Get out of here. I remember you existed. Uh, nun's habit. One defense. Uh, I'll keep spell power. It does give a bunch of mind. Extra. Do, 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 do. No! Stop sucking. Although it doesn't suck out the mana anymore like it used to. Give me your buckets. Now to a second dungeon. The desert level. I remember. Yeah. Why are you facing the wrong way? Now, after it dies, I think you can go into its sinkhole. Yes. Now we find one of the, the items that you can find that increase your game. Also, Charlotte's double jump as she activates her broom. Also, red skeletons don't die. You need a specific weapon to be able to take them out. And it's always nice that they actually feed you enough whips throughout the game, so that if you really just wanted to be like, I just want to use a whip, you can. Jonathan.
jokes. Get out of here. Clear skies puts a like a clear barrier around you, and projectile attacks are just reflected for a little bit. So it just kind of prevents them. <laughs> I know I could have went down and got a bunch of stuff as well, besides just going straight across. So I'll have to go back and do that anyway, but... Oh ho! Wamma bits! I'm a bit surprised to find you inside of my painting. You must be Broner. How dare you! Show my father some respect! Calm yourself, Stella. What could they possibly know about respect? They're just humans, after all. Indeed, I am Brona, master of this castle. I am... Bald. Behold my true curse! It is not vampirism. Are you trying to deceive, revive Dracula? What the hell are you up to? Oh, Dracula, you say? What a joke, right, sister? Watching these ignorants get worked up can go can be so entertaining. It seems you have no intention on reviving Dracula. Why would Lord Dracula be revived? In the last few centuries, he's failed at controlling humanity. I will wait no longer. For the sake of my beloved daughters, I will take this world. From mankind, humans bring death and ruin to everything of beauty. You're not after Dracula. Why has the castle been resurrected? Lord Dracula's power is great. I recognize that. And through this castle, that power will allow the world to be reborn. You only want to use Dracula's powers? But it shouldn't be possible to separate Dracula from his magic. Oh, but it is. With a clever young lady. So long as I possess the power of the painting, I had no trouble at all. Father... You need not waste your time on such insolent pests. What did you say? Yes, please show them how utterly pathetic they are. Well, no need to be hasty, dear. At the moment, Dracula's faithful servant is sniffing around my castle. Disposing of him is our first priority. But, Father... You two have nothing to worry about. Please retire to a safe place and get some rest. Into your paintings. You heard me. We can dispose of this trash at any time. We finally met this brawner. He has incredible power. Just the sight of him could drive an ordinary person mad. Yep, it would have been messy. If only I could use the whip. Look, at least we're alive. Yeah, but I'll make him regret ever crossing paths with us. Give me my money. I don't want to go there yet. There, them's be booby traps. Ah! Speaking of booby traps. <laughs> don't scare. Okay, I kind of think I do have to go the booby trap way, which means I might want to go back and find the save room. Because this is just gonna. You know what?
Now loot me up. I don't remember if there's actually anything here or not, but... Nope, that's just a fake. It's just to kill a worm. Oh yeah. Bang him up. Like, this one throws you a bunch of fist weapons, like, use it please, don't you want to? get that cake. Ow. And you're wondering, is this level just a giant pyramid? The answer to that is, well, yeah. <laughs> Stop turning the wrong way. What are you? One other thing that I like a lot about this is how useful like the magic is 
like swapping a Charlotte and using spells is helpful a lot of the time, as you've been as you've been seeing. It's not just oh, you stick at Jonathan, you hit everything with a weapon, and it dies, and Charlotte's there for who cares? I was like, no, it actually <laughs> you actually use her magic quite frequently. This one, yes. This thing does actually drop its um, its crossbow bolt ability. You fire a big explosive crossbow bolt. to explore this one a bit because there's still more here before we do the boss. Save here. Cut that out. Pumps, which two defense? Well, once again, luck doesn't kind of really matter, but two defense is worth it over two mind. Let's see what else we have. We've got the crystal necklet uh, for some defense and con. Yeah, we'll slap that on her. Nothing beats what we have. Copper plate. We already found one of those. It dropped off something else. Edgar, oh shit, the bandana. Leggings we've got, and now we can actually put on the curse resist and the defense on. Died to the dart. <laughs> it counts. Oh, so, what is the middle of this thing? I think it's just immune. You 
man out of here. Yeah, bastard didn't think I didn't recognize a mimic. How could you? Can't get to. So we'll just go down, swipe underneath, and we'll leave. And we'll go fight the boss. I remember that. Yeah, the giant death beam. Everyone remembers the ancient Egyptian death beam. Mr. Ernst would always talk about the ancient Egyptian death beam. Counts as a dark kill. <laughs> All right, we know how to fight this. Summon skeleton. Face the right way first. Oh yeah, you need you need a polymorph spell that turns you into a frog to do that one. In fact, if I remember correctly, that is actually 
the the item you get down there is actually one you need to beat the game with. But you act because there's the false endings like there normally are in these types of Castlevania games. And if you do some stuff, which I'll show later, without the true ending, you kind of just lose. And you get the shit ending. That's always been one of the cool things with these types of games. That they do put false endings in. So you do have to keep exploring to find all the, uh, the extras. I just oh oh you get me let me get up there <laughs> but yeah that's one and that's also a really good uh, combo attack that I wanted a thousand blades Die now! Oh god. <laughs> Stop doing that. If I remember the, the. What was it for then? What was that, that mask for? potion. Like the cursed mask, I that was for, or stone mask. As you can see, it's a rare drop, but it's not an armor or an accessory. Fire, get back on there.
That's a neat drop. The Uraeus. One extra defense, and it's luck. Okay, never mind. Save and fight the boss. Now, if I remember correctly, he has an ability that can take control of Jonathan. She has literally a seduce button. <laughs> Dart is only at 77. Yeah, we, we would have a lot to go. There she goes. Yes! <laughs> Thousand blades and then a couple of darts. <laughs> He's like right at the perfect height to just be kept getting hit by that. Oh sweet, I leveled up just enough where I can Don't mind me. This is honestly not even a really good sub-weapon. I'm just fucking around <laughs> trying to get it upgraded. does a bit more damage. I just wanted to get that done. <laughs> I'll have to mess around with other sub weapons and finally re and remind myself which ones were my favorite. Or which ones were just really good again.
And now we have the pushing down. Oh, is there a path down there I didn't unlock? Oh yeah, I remember that one. Might as well get to it. See ya. Whee! Right. Royal sandals are... Uh, more defense, more int, yeah, and more mine, yep. Something ghost look like again. Oh, it's just a little thing that flies around. Never mind. What does the big version of Summon Ghost look like then? There's two ghosts. I see you. there. Sub weapon, damn you. The Googlez. How are the Googlez? Uh, two more armor, but everything else goes down? No, we'll get it. Yeah, 
Other devastation. <gasps> Iron plate. Let's go. Go. Six more defense. Not even like a trivial amount, like just a good amount. I see you. Head back to home base. But now we have double jump and everything else. So now we have even more pathways to go besides continuing the way we just went. How are things? Um, as room which many ghosts gather to defeat the great ghost. I forget what half these even give. Uh, defeat ten hill guards. That one we can kind of just do naturally. Spinning art, I gotta remember that one. Alright, uh, go and come back when you've been cursed. Yeah, we gotta get cursed, lose all of our mana, and come back. Eventually there's an item that will do that for us, so... But this is... Yeah. Input for this is just really complicated to try to like roll it out. You're back. So kind of getting it done. Like congratulations, you learned the art, but like, it just makes it I think a little bit easier to learn. Like you have to put in a lot of inputs just to roll like that. Like <laughs> it's a lot of work for no real reason. Unless it's like, oh, but that entire roll is just you're immune to damage that entire time. If you can put in the long, complicated input. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. Link book. Whip only. Very Kenyaku Kunai. Alright, we got all that still. Yeah, a master ring, that's an important one. No, not really important, that's just for getting your masteries up quicker. Because as you saw, some of them take like a thousand kills. <laughs> it isn't that hard on some of them, depending on how many, you know. You find one of those rooms where quickly spawning enemies and then you rack up kills pretty quickly. Because now the combat fatigues aren't that powerful for Charlotte, since I already got something slightly better. Thank you. You know what I need, actually? I'll make you a deal. 
Give me another potion just in case. Let's go back over here and do some of those. Explore some more castles. doing it but oh yeah that's 46 damage just ripping into that floral brooch the same as a white corsage oh yeah there's the diamond brooch Two defense for minus and con. That's just better. I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, the knee strike. You get to fly across the screen and hit him with the knee. Shit! I gotta stop doing that. I think we actually needed the double push power here anyway. So let's get the item first. Get the nebula. Basically, this is a. The whip doesn't work like regular whips, it kind of aims towards enemies. Which is kind of neat as it works.
Jump over her shoulder, come on. There we are. Oh, that was there just to get. Oh, never mind. Oh. Yeah, the. The, the Glyso Lobolas, this dog thing, is dangerous. Also, I love. One thing I like about this is. Is that some of the yeah, getting that for the camisole is a great one. They brought back some old enemies, so like these things, the skeletons with a flail on them. They've been used in lots of different, like the Game Boy Advance ones and other games. Also, you can see now that I got the bullseye power. Uh, or I upgraded the dart. It's now triggering bullseyes on things. It's not even hitting the center of. Like, it just has to be generally in the center. Back down. No. I went across like we kept it going. Over. Suck your best in some company. Oh, did they just... Aww. Well, there's the iron plate. I had it for like three seconds, so I guess that's more than the game would have let me have it, but... <laughs> Undercut my discovery. Skeleton Gunman. They're also a uh, summoning spell where you can summon them to shoot. Hey, got him.
sequin dress. Actually better than the camisole. Oh, okay, yeah, that you need the frog for later. Yes, I got need in the arrow. I, mean, I guess I could do that. I do have the knee ability. I could knee myself some archers. I didn't do contact damage. Must not have been just enough in it. fire damage still so this is the one like so this is raw power it's weird how they give you because they give you Don Quixote and they also give you a weapon that does ice damage as well but they never upscale those damage types or do they I could be wrong about that yeah, I mean if you want to see it uh, summon ghosts summon skeleton summon gunman so the base version Summons two gunmen, they shoot. But the uh, other one, so we've got Summon Skeleton, which summons four skeletons, they all throw bones. And then we have Summon Skeleton Gunmen, who all fire bullets. And the regular Summon Skeleton worked out quite well on some of the bosses. I wonder what the. I have used Summon Gunmen in bosses before. Also, the one cool thing about the Toma Arms, it does this really big spread of damage. Let's go here. I definitely did the Hilgar quest by this point. Killed way more than 10. Skill two. Jonathan. Oh yeah, that's not technically a whip. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. Thank you. No new spells yet.
And we have another paint. And we've got ourselves some clown music. Also, they make the killer clown noise from Dawn of Sorrow. <laughs> they just make it a lot less loud. They make it softer. That's the one reason why I really like the dart a lot. Because it's almost no MP to use. And if you hit the center, it does a little extra flash of damage. And once you master it, it doesn't hit It doesn't even need to hit close to the center for it to count and trigger. It's a nice all-purpose uh I don't know why I couldn't do the second jump in there. Now this is something we need to do later. If we do that, when we there'll be a quest asking us to do it in front of the statue, and it'll cause the eyes to bleed and we get the bloody tears. Get it? <laughs> Okay, Ricochet Rock is also a fun one. It does exactly what their bullets do. It throws around a rock that just bounces constantly. And then there's Grenade, which does exactly what you think it does. some of the bigger traps come in where these things do like 100 plus damage Grab some snacks, I'll be right back. Also gotta hit the bathroom.
nice things about this game is being able to swap through two players and each of them have like the strengths and bonuses like going through the the entire Egyptian area I was pretty much using Charlotte and her magic for like almost everything <laughs> and now we're back to here I'm like alright I'm gonna use Jonathan and he's working out pretty well especially with the dart and everything So once we equip the fedora, none of our holy damage works anymore because we're atheists. <laughs> it just says all, oh, all holy damage. Turn that up, turn that right off. Ah, fuck. Oh, they don't do 100 damage. Now we do 39. Sweet. Some Halloween came around the corner, and I did some food shopping the day after the last Castlevania stream. Going down myself, uh, some Halloween candy, even though people normally don't come around, so that just means I get to eat it myself. <laughs> well, I'll leave some hanging around. Happened to get some Reese's peanut butter cups because there's a person that I know. <laughs> I won't name any names. But yes, I did get some peanut butter cups. Oh, this dude. Yeah, alright. So the flying armors have a really good weapon. The weapon that these guys drop is a really fun weapon. Because it has a special attack type. So I kind of wanted to drop it <laughs> because of how fun it is. Sword. So, Heaven Sword is fun, and it's also just straight powerful, too. So, it's weaker than what I was using, but, as you can see, you can send them out rather quickly, and they do an arc. They can hit multiple times as well. It's a really good weapon. My spaghetti. My spaghetti. And then we got some carbonara as well. <laughs> we carbo loading before the real game starts.
But yeah, the Heaven Sword is going to be our primary weapon for quite a while. Ah. Don't know why I tried to make that jump. Six defense? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Out of doubt, yes. Javelin ability is pretty good because what it does when you throw it, it sticks in the floor and then it deals damage a couple times in a row in quick succession. So the spear is uh, pretty good at that. Not something I'm going to use, but. You just. Okay. You passed through that thing a couple times. Get in the damn it. <laughs> oh. You there you go. I don't know why that wouldn't work. Is this not? Oh, there you go. There. Oh, there's a hole in the ceiling here. cards are also in a quest later on but like I said I'm not gonna do all the quests you don't need to do them at all to get a good ending or anything like that there's different bonuses
the spiked boots do what I think they do? Adds damage. Boots deal extra damage when kicking in. So right now I have the boots where you slide on the ground, which counts as a kick, but there's also in the air dive down kick. But we're not equipping them right now. I don't even have the in the air. Actually, no, I had the double jump. Never mind. I do have that actually. Frog to get that later. And then there's Volcano, which is really good for the boss that's coming up, considering how the boss works. If I go back, back, I think I can actually just go to the next area. Mind me, I'm just going to rock your world. <laughs> yeah, this is just going to take me back down. Go a different way. Not what we want to do. Thank you, Mr. Clown. Everybody knows the, the legend of the clown and the hamburger. In a world where 
clowns didn't have hamburgers. That's where I would have went down if I uh, decided to go the way with the blades instead of the other way. And then you get critical art. Or so you use a get a critical hit attack. They've got bosses incoming, so I'm going to put Kano on him, and I'm going to put Holy Lightning on her. I'm pretty sure Volcano is just better. And but Rock Riot is going to be very powerful as well. So, let's do it. This boss is... Get the cog. One of my favorites. Not just for this game, but in general, of the way the boss is. It's Legion! It's just a mass of fucking homunculuses. Underneath of it, is this thrashing pile of tentacle monsters. Oh, the volcano, yeah, volcano doesn't reach that part. Oh, I'm gonna die from this. Uh oh. If it does the flamethrower again, I'm probably dead. Oh shit, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I killed it, and then I instantly died. All right, well. Ooh, you know what that also means I want to try? Uh, what does Summon Gunman look like on that platform? Not you. I mean, soon you, not you. So I noticed that my HP is 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, they don't even hit. Okay. Do a lot of damage, though. Oh, they are hitting the main body. fall off there. There we go. Okay, yeah. So the skeleton gunman did a lot of damage. Holy shit. I love fucking around with these, like, spells that I normally wouldn't think of and then, like, getting the skeleton and the skeleton worked really well in the behemoth and it worked really well in a couple other things. And then, like, the skeleton gunman was just doing 80 times 4 damage. Just casting it over in a corner somewhere. Alright, so that's another painting down, and now we have a cog. A cog for somewhere else.
All right, now that we've taken out another boss and another painting, and excuse me, can I have some more side quests? Goes to the desert, overcome the curse, art of the Zephyr. John has performed the spinning art in front of me three times in a row. Yeah, that one's hard. Um, statues tier, I know exactly where to get that. We just came from it. And then the martial art. There you go. You're back. Excellent. So now we have Rocket Slash. Excellent. A straight ability. And I got martial art, that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, if you want a poison sword, bring me moldy bread, Amanita, and the long sword. Okay, we'll take that just to get that, because if you find the items, you find the items. And statues tier. Let's go get that bloody tier. Winks at the audience. And we've got holy water now, which works exactly as you think the holy water works. Now we got a few more. So, oh, I wanted to check the the guy's stores for new spells. Nothing new yet. Uh, I don't want to buy these three yet. They don't really matter that much. These might? I don't think so. Thank you.
There we go. Tasty meat. Ain't Castlevania if you don't have some wall meat. The fedora is actually an extra defense. Iron Helm's even. <laughs> so wait, I'm, I jumped on it. All right, yep. Yeah, there's a boss. Know which one it is, and it'll be a good one to end the stream on. Also, Clock Tower music in here is pretty damn good. Summon the storm of violent winds. There you go. Once you get it, though, it's it's kind of punishing. Oh shit, she's done. Yeah, and then we're completely locked, so we have to fight the boss. this fight being tough, I just don't remember what I need to do to, to do it, so, uh, but I do remember this is a pretty tough fight. Huh? I was tired of waiting. You came out of your den, vampire. Watch your tongue, mortal. I held back with my father present, but here, you're as good as dead. I find it strange you'd come here alone. Now that simplifies things. I alone will take care of you. I'll tear you apart limb from limb. And wring all the blood from your bodies. It's hopeless. Oh, I never actually swapped that off on them in that one. I'm gonna die from this anyway. Put on a better spell. Yeah, just just <laughs> just die on that one. All right, redo that one again. Now that I remember. All right, so first, we keep everything we have except we put instead of rush, we put holy lightning on, and then instead. Of Summon gunmen. Um, Empress? I don't remember. I have to use some of these again. Summon a sharp thing like pillar of ice. Yeah, that's like out of the ground. Ice needle is like they summon in front of you. Front tables. Charlotte! Sacred 
Oh yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Got her. <laughs> what happened to me? You're finished. Huh? My head. Are you alright? <laughs> Are you alright? Wow, instantly fucking. Yeah, right, sister. Wow, no, I literally stuck doing the wrong voice again. No, oh no. Now when I'm trying to actually do it. Oi, oh, are you alright, sister? I'm, I'm fine, Loretta. Father was very clear not to leave the painting, but you, you may scold me later. These two are a threat to father. We must take care of them now. No, for now we return. Hear me, both of you. If you continue to oppose father, I'll show you no mercy. Next time we meet, I'll kill you. What's this? It's like a locket. There's a photo inside. This is wind. And those two vampire girls. What does it mean? I have no idea. We should ask him about it. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, like, uh, that Tempest one actually is pretty good. Like, because that's one thing I remembered about that fight, is she takes a lot of damage to actually knock her out. Because <laughs> when she got hit in that, she was taking like 64 damage multiple times. So she had a lot of HP, 2,500. Definitely a lot more than this picking at it for 12 a hit would have done. Wind. What's the meaning of this? Look at this photo. Look at this photograph. <laughs> huh? Not this one. Every time it makes me laugh. You owe us an explanation. Ah, uh, indeed I do. Let me tell you my real name. It's Eric. Eric Licarda. You don't mean the man who fought by my father? Yes, John was my best friend. And what's your relationship with the two girls in the photo? They're my daughters. Hold on a second. Aren't they Bronner's daughters? Bronner has lost his real daughters in the First World War. His anger and grief awakened his hidden magic power, which he used to become a vampire. So his daughters, he believes that the daughters he lost in the war were born as my daughters. So he kind of just stole them from you? His daughters were his life. Now that he took, came and took them back, he wants to punish the humans who had ruined his life. I see. That's why the whips started acting up in front of those two. It's because they carry the blood of the Lacard family. Of course, the vampire killer. Eric, if you fought by Jonathan's father, then you must know how to unlock the vampire killer's power. Yes, I don't know, but if you know, then tell me, what do I do? In order for the Morris family to use the vampire killer, you need the power of the card family. I can't help you. In my course, now that my daughters have been turned to vampires, so in the end, the whip is useless. I guess this, I guess, I guess my being its heir is just an emptiness. 
is just the emptiest, most meaningless title of all. You forbade me to tell you this, but I think the time has come. The reason your father died. You know why he died? They say he was more mortally wounded when he stopped Dracula's resurrection. Even I know that was the cause. The wrong. For one, it is not of the Belmont family to use the true power of the vampire killer. They must give up a part of their own life. That's why my family acts as the power's key, but that I can only be used when truly necessary. John used the whip too much. So what are you saying? You mean my father died because of this whip? Exactly. That's why I didn't want to teach you how to use it. I wanted you to develop the strength to fight without using the whip. No matter how much you might hate him for doing that, in the end, he's only looking out for you. You may not yet wield your whip like a Belmont, but that power can be yours. I know that John had his reasons. Father. I knew he had good reasons. Aren't you glad, Jonathan? I just don't get it. Why did the Belmonts give this thing to the Morris family? If not for this, we would have been spared so much pain. Because the Belmonts cannot touch the whip now. It is predicted that Dracula will be revived in the year 1999. I've heard that the Belmonts must not touch the vampire killer until then. But, after some plotting to revive Dracula before that, somebody has to stand up and stop him. Only the Morris family is able to do that. Yeah, 1999 is when Soma's first game comes in. <laughs> and that's when Julius Belmont shows up on the scene with the whip. Oh, no choice to fight them. At least I finally know the truth about my father and the whip. Still, are you okay with this? The job that we have to do is going to end up hurting your own daughters. I wonder if there's a chance we can save those two if I use some kind of purification spell. Chances are very slim. You know that. Even I never knew how to do it. I appreciate your sentiments. But I am resigned to their fate. I see. Forgive us, Jonathan. Basin's burden upon you. No problem. Do what I can. You gotta uh, accept your destiny? So do I. Let's go, Charlotte. Right. Yeah, let's go save and heal. <laughs> heal me, please. Alright, anything new yet? Yes, we've unlocked more shit for him. Alright, cool. Alright, so we've got Spirit of Light and Dark Rift. So we got a light and dark magic. Dark kunai's kunimitsu. Discus, I remember being kind of decent. 8k though. Wait on it. I kind of have a lot of the stuff that I'm looking for anyway. Diamond brooch are just in defense. I don't really need any of these. Point shoes, Prima shoes. Yeah, the Primas are just better. Well, if I went for a physical attack, then I guess not really. Weapons given me. Sapphire corsets, more defense. And calm. But I won't, I'm not gonna worry about these. Yeah, double axe. I wanted to go back to that attack pattern again, which is pretty good. But we'll find some more as it goes on. Also, if I cast them at three, why not? Thank you. Oh, I guess we already found that all the cast them at three. Yeah. Alright, so what we'll do here is I will save again. And tomorrow I'll be back with the Stygian game. Uh, so can, we'll, we'll continue that one. Uh, push through that. We should be getting finished with that maybe before the end of the week. I don't know. Maybe we'll push a little bit in the next week. But uh, Dave will also be streaming. Or Dastardly Dave will also be streaming. So um, he's currently sick, which is why I've been streaming a lot. Uh, if he does get better and he does a stream, then I will defer to him. Uh, but I will still be streaming throughout the week at points. And probably next Sunday. Uh, actually, no. I'm, I think I'm doing shit next Sunday. All right, well, anyway, another point at some time in the future, I will be continuing this. And after I finish the uh, Stygian game, I will definitely put my priority to finishing this, because this won't this won't take that long. If I, like, put into it, like, f another four hours, we're going to be really close to being finished. 
So, like, two more, three hours, we'll probably be done short on the next one. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's a good thing I actually got this stream. The first part of this is earlier. Uh, so there's a stream earlier part of this for part one. I'll put that on there. But yeah, I really like this game. This is my favorite of the ones. Uh, I like the story a little bit. Uh, I like the, the, the features. I like the sub-weapons. I like the magic. I like swapping between your characters. I like the way you're allowed to swap between them. This is one of the ones that they did a lot of fun with, with the character swapping. And I really wish that they did this formula again. Let you swap between two characters with different styles, because this was really enjoyable. But they never let you do it again. Uh, hopefully one day. Who knows? It, it's Konami, so who the fuck knows? Anyway. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.